also known as D's Curve. If you are new here, I post plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle related videos. I definitely think you should subscribe to my channel. You'll enjoy the content for sure. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few of my favorite vacation outfits from my most recent trip. So I recently went to Dominica. Actually, it's not recent. It's been over a month at this point. But I went to Dominica and the fits were given, okay? If I do say so myself. And I just feel like vacation outfits, that's where I shine. I love a good vacation tropical fit. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just share my favorite ones with you guys. And maybe you might find some inspiration for an upcoming trip. Or these things you could probably also mix and match for your current um, wardrobe, just because it's a vacation outfit doesn't mean you can't wear it in your everyday life, right? So I'm gonna share my favorite uh, outfits from vacation. If you're interested in seeing what those are, please keep on watching. So first things first, you guys already know that I am a planner. When it comes to outfits, I like to plan them in advance, especially when I'm going on vacation, because I wanna make sure I have everything that I will need to bring the fit together. And so I always use Canva to plan my outfits. And so the first thing I'll show you is the plan of the outfit and how it actually came together. So we're gonna start off with outfit number one. And that was my outfit from the first night of World Crayon Music Festival. So this outfit, I kind of struggled a little bit with the accessories. I knew the pants was gonna be these Hanifa jeans. Oh, those jeans are so good. The quality is so good. They are so, so soft. It's like, how is it denim and it's still soft? I don't know how Hanifa does it, okay? I just do not know. And then the top, the top is from, I wrote it down. I can't remember the name of the brand. Why is it, why am I blanking right now? The top is from Jean-Paul Gaultier. The, the top, this was a little, the, the fit was a little expensive. It was on the, it was on the pricey side, okay? I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I feel like these two pieces I could have in my closet for a very long time. So I knew the top that I wanted to wear and I knew the jeans that I wanted to wear, but I really struggled with the accessories. I didn't, I, okay, so first there was this gold purse on Brandon Blackwood. I'm like, okay, I like that. But I also have this gold and brown purse also from Brandon Blackwood, and I'm like, should I just wear something I already have in my closet? And then I was like, okay, I'll wear what I have in my closet, but then what shoes am I gonna wear? I battled with sandals. I actually bought two pairs of gold sandals, and then I contemplated getting gold sneakers, but you guys, I was really struggling with the accessories, but at the end, this is how the outfit came together. I ended up wearing the brown and gold purse that I have from Brandon Blackwood and some basic sandals from Steve Madden. Just some basic sandals from Steve Madden. They were pretty comfortable. Comfort was really important to me because obviously I'm gonna be standing for a long time. This, this event goes from like 10 p.m. to 8 a.m and it's standing pretty much the whole time. So I wanted to be comfortable. All in all, this outfit came together really nicely. I loved how it looked on my body. Everything just looked real snatched. I just, I felt really good. Everything came together really nicely and I really, really liked this outfit. So we might as well continue on with World Career Music Festival night two. This is what night two's outfit was supposed to give and this is what it gave. It gave, it gave. I actually wore the pants to this specific top that I'm wearing from Kai Collective. I have the same set in a different color, but if you like it, you gotta buy it twice. I don't make the rules, okay? But those are the rules. And I absolutely love this set. The pants, very, very comfortable. It fits perfectly. It has a high waist and it has like this really wide waistband that like cinches you in. Ugh. It's such a perfect fit and I really love that it's long. It does drag on the floor a little bit, but it d didn't really bother me. So if you're a tall girly, 
Kai Collective looks out for you. Their stuff is always very, very long. For the top, I, again, I always kind of like shuffle through what I'm gonna wear and I found this like bodysuit and I wanted a seamstress in Dominica to make a version that's good, that was like purple, like this purple, this light purple for me. And she said she could do it, but it was also around Creole season and I just know Creole season is a really busy season for seamstress. And I, I wasn't trying to go to Dominica with no shirt. And then when I, I'm ready for my outfit, I don't know what to wear. So I ended up getting this white top from Fashion Nova. It's actually part of a set. The pants is white as well. But I wore it with these pants and I just think it came together really nicely. For accessories, I wore my Brandon Blackwood purse. You couldn't even see my shoes, but I wore these coach sandals. Let me tell y'all, these coach sandals, feels like I'm walking on air. So, so, so comfortable. Like, so much so I'm contemplating getting it in black, but I'm like, it's winter time. I don't need to be getting sandals. But some always comes back, right? So, I don't know. I may end up getting it in black because they're very, very comfortable. I did not wear the earrings that I had planned to wear because I was wearing earrings for like a whole week prior. And those earrings were a little bit heavy, so my ears, they couldn't handle it. But then again, I was wearing really big hair. So you couldn't even see the earrings anyways. So the outfit came together really nicely. I felt very, very beautiful. I got a lot of compliments. I loved it. Night three outfit was a fail. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. So the other outfit that I wanted to share with you guys is this is not really an outfit, but it's a look. Yeah, it's a look. So I wore this swimsuit and a wrap or sarong if you want to call it that. And this swimsuit is a swimsuit that I've had for years. I got it from Icon Swim. The sarong though is relatively new and I got it from Farm Rio via Anthropology. If it's still available, I'll link it below. But the colors of that sarong was just perfect for the day. I wore it when I was going on an island tour and I took a picture in this specific area and it's almost as if the sarong was a picture of where I was. It matched the environment perfectly. You could wear it short, you could wear it long, you could actually wear it as a dress. Very, very versatile. And I really felt very comfortable. I also felt covered because as I said, we were going on an island tour, which means we're like on a bus, but then going down to go to different sides. And I wanted to make sure I was comfortable for both like going in the water and like being on the bus and going into restaurants and stuff like that which I definitely was. I felt very comfortable. That swimsuit, it hugs, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. It hugs me in all the right places. No, no, no complaints with that swimsuit. I haven't shopped on Icon Swim in probably over a year, maybe? I don't think I've shopped on Icon Swim since the pandemic. Since 2021 was the last time I shopped on Icon Swim for my birthday. Yeah, but I don't know what the quality is now, but I'm sure it's the same. So Icon Swim, I definitely recommend for swimsuits and the sarong came together nicely. I wore it with my um, Jelly uh, Tory Burch sandals. That's a perfect vacation sandal because you can go in the water with it. You're not worried that it's gonna you know, burst or anything like that on you. So I would recommend that sandal as well. That's outfit number three. Outfit number four is a rather casual fit, but I feel like when I go home to Dominica, I do need some casual fits because even though I'm going on vacation, it's home, which means I may be running errands for my mom, I might be going to visit family, and I don't need to be like dressed up for those things, but I still wanna be cute. And this specific outfit definitely did that. This very casual, very chill, but it's still like, oh, this is a cute outfit, you know? So the top is just a plain black t-shirt, got it from ASOS. The quality though is really, really good. It's part of the ASOS Basics or ASOS Design, I think it's called, line. And I got it in white, in black, and in gray. And I just felt like I needed some basics for my trip. And I'll link them below if they're available, but the quality is really good. And then I wore it with these green, this green cargo skirt from Fashion Nova. The, the, the skirts, the long skirts, they're in, okay? And I haven't gotten a really, really long one, like a maxi one yet, but I'm like, let me try out this midi one. And I think it came together nicely. I did tie the shirt just to show a little, just slight, a little, little. And I paired it with 
these uh, Nike Dunks that I recently got for my birthday. They're multicolored, but they do have a patch of like cow print on them. And I was like, I have the perfect purse. I have a brown and black with cow print purse. Like, chef's kiss. It came together so, so, so nice. And I believe my accessories are silver, even though you really can't see them again because my hair was pretty big, so you can't really see my accessories. But I loved how this outfit came together. Very chill, very casual. But you need some of those types of outfits when you're on vacation. And I felt very comfortable and I still felt cute. This next outfit was a complete accident. <laughs> and I'll, it was an accident because the, it was basically a swimsuit and a cover up. Again, on vacation, that's an outfit, okay? We were basically going to the beach and you still want to be cute. You want to be covered because you're not like coming from your hotel to the beach, you're driving and maybe stopping at a restaurant or something. So you still want to be slightly covered. And I wore this orange swimsuit. The orange swimsuit is from Finoel um, from their Target collection. So that one is sold out. But the accident was the cover-up. Believe it or not, this cover-up belongs to my friend Karis. For those of you who don't know Karis, Karis is probably like a size medium. She's short. And she was going to wear this cover-up and she's like, Deanna, can you tie this cover-up for me? Cause it's way too long. It's like dragging, the strings are falling off of her. I'm like, Karis, that, that cover-up is for me. That is That cover-up is way, way, way too big for you. Uh, bring it, yeah, bring it over here, bring it over here. And so she gave it to me and it fit perfectly. It was made for me. It's a size medium. It's from Pretty Little Thing, but I'm clearly not a size medium, you guys. So it's very, very stretchy. The length was perfect. Imagine it on Karis. It was dragging. It was definitely, she bought that for herself, but she really bought it for me. She didn't even know, okay? But I really loved this outfit as well. Wore it with my same jelly sandals. But as I said, on vacation, a swimsuit and a cover-up is an outfit, and I really liked it. The final outfit that I liked was another casual fit. And you guys, I didn't get a lot, I didn't really get great pictures in this outfit, but one tip I wanna give for vacation outfits is two pair of linen pants, a black linen pants and a cream linen pants is a need, a must, to really build your vacation outfit because I wore those black pants so many different ways. I also got linen pants um, in brown, and I wore them multiple times as well. And you can mix and match, you can dress them up, dress them down. And so would highly recommend those, the ones that I'm wearing in this picture, I got from ASOS. So if it's available, I'll link it. The length is perfect. I'm a tall girly as you can see, and it fits me perfectly. So this outfit was just plain old black linen pants with a top from Finoel and Target collection. I've had it in my closet since it launched months and months and months ago probably even last year i think they had that collection and together it looked really cute i did wear a yellow purse that i got from kurt geyer called geyer whatever the kurt kurt geyer yeah not called geyer i think there's like kurt geiger child one of them okay the yellow purse is from them that yellow purse carried me through my casual fits on vacation because it's kind of crochet and it's you can fit a lot in there so i wore it quite a lot and it was a casual fit very loose very chill like the breeze could flow i wasn't hot and i really liked it now earlier in the video i told you guys that my night three outfit was a little bit of a fail and i still want to show it to you guys because i thought the potential was just it was gonna eat but there's a few things I needed to take into consideration. First, the pants were way, way, way too long and it was raining a lot. And I just did not feel like having my expensive Hanifa pants drag through the mud. So I was like, yeah, I can't wear it. And then the pants were way too big for me. I brought it to the tailor, but I didn't have time to try it on at the tailor. And when I got to my hotel, I realized that the pants were still too big. So it was too big, too long, so I just could not wear it. And I was very, very sad because as you can see, it was gonna give, it was gonna give. So I ended up just throwing on some basic jeans and with the top and went about my business. And it was fine. It is what it is. I still had an amazing night. Sunday night was actually probably my favorite night. And I'm like, sometimes I overthink 
things you know I, I want to do too much and sometimes it's like girl just throw some jeans and you cute it's fine it doesn't always have to be a big deal but I I still was a little bit disappointed so you guys will definitely see me wear those green pants at some point in the future okay so I'm interested in knowing which outfit was your favorite let me know in the comments down below this is the end of today's video I really hope that you enjoyed everything that's available I will try my best to link it down below in the description box I will see you in the next video oh if you're not subscribed come on we're trying to get to 9,000 subscribers we're really trying to get to 10,000 but before the end of the year we need to get to at least nine we're very very close so please if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye